Hey Savvy people, it's Savvy Nick here and today I'm here with a Savvy tip on how to install Wine on Ubuntu 20.04. Wine allows you to run Windows applications on Linux by translating Windows API calls into POSIX on Linux, Mac OS, or BSD. That way you have a seamless experience with the Windows applications. You won't be emulating the programs, you'll actually be running them on your Linux system. This is a great tool if you have a need to still run some Windows programs in Linux. If you're new and stopping by to watch a video today, make sure to subscribe below and hit the notification bell for future videos, installs, and tutorials. So let's go ahead and install Wine now. That allows us to run those Windows applications on Linux. I'm here on the Wine headquarters website where they've updated their installation information to include Ubuntu 20.04, which I'm using today. If you need more help or just want to reference the website directions, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description below if you want to go ahead and, and reference that. First thing I want to do is go ahead and start up a terminal. So I'm going to do that with Control Alt T. And let me just make this a little bigger for us to see. So first off, Wine requires the 32-bit architecture packages to be enabled for cross-architecture use of programs since a lot of programs are initially designed for a 32-bit architecture. So we'll have to run the following. It's going to be sudo dpkg space dash dash add dash architecture and then the i386 architecture. So let's go ahead and do that. Type your administrative password in if you need to. And as long as you don't get an error, you've successfully added the 32-bit architecture. All right, next we're gonna download and add the repository key. We can do that through this command here. I'll go ahead and put it in the description below. And it's also on the WineHQ website, but it's wget space dash o space dash, then this uh, URL here, the dl.winehq.org under the wine builds, winehq.key, and we're gonna pipe that to the next command, which will add the key. So sudo apt key add. All right, and we get this confirmation here, okay, that it's been added, and you can see it successfully downloaded it from winehq. Following that, we're gonna go ahead and add in the repository that will help us install wine, and you can do that through the following command, sudo add apt repository, and then the repository is this dev repository. And since we're using 20.04, I got the focal main repo. So we'll go ahead and press enter on this one. Give it a few moments here. And after this is done, there's really three branches that we can select from. The stable, the development, and the staging branch. We'll go with the stable today. If you want the cutting edge of development, you can always go with the development branch. But in order to go ahead and install Wine, we'll go sudo apt install, and then we'll do install the recommended packages, and it's going to be the Wine HQ stable package. All right, let's go ahead and press enter here. And yes, to continue. If you went ahead and made it this far, please hit the like button. It really does help me out. It doesn't seem like we got any type of errors or missing packages, so we don't have to install anything else. Looks like everything worked. And in order to test Wine, we can always do Wine, and let's run the Notepad text editor. If Wine installed correctly, we'll get a couple things that we need to install. So we got the Wine Mono package. Let's go ahead and install that real quick. And here, the Gecko package is also necessary in order to run Notepad. So I'm gonna go ahead and install that one as well. And another Gecko package is necessary, so I'm gonna finish that. And once everything's said and done, we finally have Notepad. So you can now use Notepad as normal. File, save as, save it somewhere, maybe perhaps here on the desktop. I'm just gonna call it note.txt. And you can now see that note.txt exists on my desktop. You can of course make changes or open other files in here, but congratulations at this point, you've also successfully installed Wine if this is working. Next thing you can do, just to make your life a little easier, is let's install a second package. Now this isn't completely necessary, but in order to manage the Wine apps more easily and to be able to install other Windows applications, you can get something called Play on Linux, and that's fairly easy to do. We just do sudo apt install play on Linux. And let's go ahead and get this from the main repo here. All right, and go ahead and close out of all your applications. And now let's start Play on Linux. So if you just go to Show Applications and you search for Play on Linux or click on it if you see it, we go ahead and launch it. And the first time that you open up Play on Linux, it's gonna go ahead and refresh in order to pull down all repos necessary for the Wine installs. And sometimes you need to reboot in order to get that first initial repo load to work. So if you're having trouble, go ahead and restart your computer to go ahead and test once everything's done. You'll have the install menu here with available installs. You can either search for and filter, but let's go ahead and just look for something real quick, maybe development 
or even accessories here. You can see that I have many different tools available to me that come from Windows. One particular one that's nice is 7-Zip. So in order to install it, I simply just click on 7-Zip and hit the install button. Play on Linux will run through the install then. And here you go, the installer began. Wine will install any necessary packages. It'll ask you for a destination folder. I'm just gonna go ahead and install it in the default. And you can see here on my desktop, I have 7-Zip available to me. Or I can also launch it here with Play on Linux. If I just hit run, you can see that I have an instance of 7-Zip now which allows me to create compressed files in a similar fashion to what you would on a Windows computer. Wine and Play on Linux are fantastic tools to have, and that's really it. I hope you enjoyed this savvy tip on how to install Wine on Ubuntu 20.04. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions in the comment section below. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos and make sure to like the video. Thanks for watching.